Hi friends, my name is Mary Margaret and I am a teacher at Berkeley Pacific Science Center and today we are going to be doing crystal painting. You're going to need some things to do this project. First, you're going to need some Epsom salt. You're also going to need some hot water, so make sure you're doing this with somebody who can handle hot water really safely. You'll need a heat proof stirring container, like this glass measuring cup, to be able to stir the hot water. You'll need a half cup measuring cup. I have some assortment of jars to be able to separate out the different colors of paints we're going to make. And I have some liquid watercolors to color the water. If you don't have liquid watercolors, you can also use food coloring. Finally, you're also going to need some heavy paper, heavy art paper, and you'll also need some paintbrushes. Let's go ahead and get started in making our paint first. All right, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure out half a cup of your Epsom salt. And then you'll pour it into your stirring container. Next, you're going to measure out half a cup of your hot water. So the same amount of Epsom salt as hot water. Be careful with the hot water. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to use a heat safe stirrer and stir the Epsom salt until it's totally dissolved in the hot water. Once it's all dissolved, your water will look pretty cloudy, but you should be able to tap the bottom of the water with your stirrer and see that there's no like crunchy salt crystals on the bottom. The next thing you want to do is you want to wait until the salt water mixture isn't hot anymore. I waited for a few minutes so that now I can safely touch the side of my container and not feel like it's too hot. What you're going to do next is now you get to mix the actual colors of your paints. So I have my jars here. And I'm going to divide out my Epsom salt water into each of the jars. Now I can add my liquid watercolors and make different colors of the salt water. It's up to you how intense you want the colors to look, so you can add as much or as little as you like. I'm going to use my stirrer again to make sure the colors are nicely mixed. Now I can use my paintbrushes to start painting a picture with the paints that I've made. Here's a picture of a butterfly that I drew that I am going to paint in a little bit. When you first get started, it's not going to look like much. It's just going to look like regular paint. But when it starts to dry, the water is going to evaporate. And as the water evaporates, the salt is going to start to crystallize. And that is when our paintings are going to start looking really cool. Once you finish painting, now you just have to wait for the painting to dry to be able to see those salt crystals form. So you can set it aside 
and wait for it to dry. Once the paint is dry, you'll be able to see, when you look close, all the crystal formations from the salt. You can see them glittering there. You don't have to paint a picture that you already drew or a coloring sheet. You can free paint like I did in this one. I hope you have fun painting and discovering ways that the salt makes cool crystal formations on the page.